What is up ladies and gentlemen, transgenders and hermaphrodites, welcome to round 3 of the Greenhouse Gas Cup. And you'll notice at the beginning there, I eased off the throttle just a little bit to let J-Beast keep his position as once again I had a huge advantage setting off the sticky bomb, but I think there might be some kind of lag involved because I made an effort to wait for the explosion, but everyone else still ended up taking off a little bit later, so I'll keep an eye out on that in the future and make sure I wait until I get a reaction from the rest of the team. I had a good qualifying race and cemented myself high on the grid in 4th position between J Beast and Oracle, which I'm sure they were absolutely thrilled with, but thankfully not too much went wrong in terms of lag and collisions. So this week's car selection in what was a big surprise for me was the Karen Futo, the little slippery whippersnipper, which for anyone who's driven it before knows it is one of the most unstable cars in the game, but still wicked fun to drive. So let's see how it goes, shall we? No positional changes occurred during the first few laps for the front pack, but as Oracle's pressure started to mount, I eventually had a slip up and he was able to brush past me without spoiling anyone's meatloaf. Oracle had clear pasture but butchered it on the same lap he got the overtake which turned out to be the story for both of our races as you'll soon find out. You're supposed to count the sheep jumping the fences, not actually do it. A mistake from J Beast during the following lap pushed me up into third position and put me in good stead for a podium finish. Cheers buddy! Oracle was shifting his knickers off and hit that final gear nice and early which gave him a smooth overtake on the final straightaway here but the rumble strip saved the day for me and I was able to grab third position back in a heartbeat. Half a dozen laps later we began to overlap the very appropriately named Largo Stappen and as I was trying to conjure up a strategy to get around him I left too much room on the inside so Oracle capitalised on that. And then Largo gave me a light pat on the back for my troubles. Ah, oh, you're too kind, buddy. You're too kind. Oracle spilled his tea at the crack of dawn, which gave me another opportunity for a battle royale, but I dropped my lollies and had my first real accident of the race. Bloop. Bloop. Oracle got stung by Venom as he began to overlap him, which allowed me to catch up again and slot into third position, guilty as a priest in a courtroom. Coming into the 22nd lap and the dying stages of the race, I choked once again, which allowed Oracle to slip on past, giving me a toot for his trouble. And this pretty much set the stage for an epic finish with four laps to go and... Not again! Why? I'm here, what did I miss? Get a life, dude, seriously. But I do it so well. Okay, guys, so we're back again in an epic endurance race with Sammy here, and he's just, I'm filling in right now because he's off doing our, he's in a battle right now. He's like really busy and he's like sweating balls in, in fourth position, but he wants third back because the number three is like such a better number than the number four, even it, though it seems like an arbitrary thing, but it matters a lot to him. So he's going for the overtake and he, oh, 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 he hits him and he like oversteers, but he like, he readjusts himself and he gets himself back in the position that like he wanted to be in. So he's like, oh, gets a speed carry, goes on the inside, runs out of time, goes back, gets the line, smacks the apex, smack. Quapa. But Oracle gets the curbs, but he keeps doing it. 23rd lap, he's like, this is the point in the race where he's like, okay, I gotta get in like hot lap mode now. He just wants to go like super quick, even though his brain's like freaking fried from like racing for so long, but he doesn't even like care to He's like spitting those flames and like getting those really nice lines, like ruddling over those rumble strips. I don't even know what that meant. I, I hope it made sense, but he can see him in his vision. Gets airborne, hang time, smacks the rear wheels down. Oh, he goes in for the apex, he goes left again, he's right on his tail, he's going full blast, but he's like m millimeters away from him, it's like, it's so close, but like at the same time, he's like driving as if he's not even there, so he just like, gets the speed carry on the same damn corner, oh my god, he's in third, he got it, oh, Oracle slows down, he gets the overtake, and that's it, oh my god, such an epic moment, Sammy, Sammy, where are you, dude, you got, you got it, you got third position back, I need to, I need to tell you this, man, like, we're coming to like the 24th lap and you're like in third place, man. That's like a huge thing. Sammy, where are you? So, oh, oh, 
don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. See, I mean, you, you didn't get the overtake. Don't worry. I, I tried. I mean, I thought you did, so I, like, told everyone that you did. It was, like, a big deal, but don't worry about it, dude, man. Like, fourth is okay. Not really. You suck, man. I'm gonna go work for someone else. There you have it, guys. This was the second week in a row. I finished in the same position I was in at the end of the very first lap, so it's safe to say my consistency is on par with the rest, but... I just don't seem to have that blistering speed required to match the top guns. I think it goes to show how important qualifying is because once everyone gets in their groove and starts pumping out lap after lap, it's really hard to get overtakes and climb up the ladder. Special mention to Nefarious who had an amazing race finishing 30 seconds above the rest which would seem to me a near flawless race. And Anadraps, who started in 20th position but climbed all the way back to 5th spot, got the quickest lap with a 140.2, which is just inconceivable to me. I mean, uh, I could create an underground bunker with, with nothing but a PS4 and lock myself in it for the rest of my life, and I guarantee I would never get that lap time. Whatever his folks are feeding him, I want in. Alright guys, see you next week. <laughs>